Olá, Deus te abençoe. Hello, God bless you. Thank God. Welcome to the Life Change Today program. Thank you so much for being there and may God bless you very much. Happy Sunday. The week is just starting. And may you have a week filled with a lot of good news and a lot of, a lot of favor. May you see the kind hand of the Lord upon you and your family. In Jesus' name, seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all things will be given to you as well. If the first fruit is holy, the lamp is also holy. Draw near to God and God will draw near to you. Build this intimate relationship with the Lord. Pray for hunger. Ask for the Lord that may He bless you with an irresistible hunger, hunger for Him. Pray for the Lord to help you to keep focused. Remember the commands that the Lord gave to Joshua. Don't look to the right nor to the left. Don't get distracted, Joshua. Speak the word. Keep the word on your mouth. Because in our words, there is power. I can't understand how some people are so emotional and because of this, so foolish. People who are guided by, by their emo emotions, they act in a foolish way and they speak hastily. Jesus said, For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. And this is so serious. I believed, I believed so that I declared it. So you declare what you believe. People are declaring negative things, curses, because unfortunately, this is what they believe. Totally mistaken. It's a bad, a malicious belief. The person doesn't believe that the words have power to build and to destruct. And then they speak. The Bible says that in our tongue is the power of life and death. And who likes to use it will eat fruit. In, in Proverbs, is also written that we feed our stomach with our boards. And then some people ask, why are they, why they, why are they sick? They don't have energy. They don't have strength. They don't have happiness because those who keep guard their tongue, they guard their soul for distress. Many distress would be avoided if people changed their way of speaking. But unfortunately, there are people who just know how to curse themselves, curse what they have, curse their family. They are always speaking negative. I can't, I'm not able, I can't do it, there is no hope for it, I'm bad, nothing works, my life is not progressing, my life is hell, and so on. The person doesn't fear to gossip about people, they talk about other people's lies, they have a, a bad mouth have mouth and then they ask why so many things happen with them in their health in their mouth i have already told you that the majority 
almost generalizing were people who I would talk about my experience. I have found I talked to them and it wasn't just a few and they had some problem in the mouth, some disease in their mouth, many problems, right? The person lost many teeth, infections, nothing used to work, nothing worked, treatments that didn't work, people who lost all their teeth, the teeth became loose, fell out. There were people, I'm talking about my experience with people who I found and talked to them. They were people who had a heavy, very heavy mouth. So they, most part of them used to speak bad words. They talked badly about people. They were malicious. They used to criticize people. They cursed other people, cursed their own life. They complained, murmured. It means... They were poisoning themselves, death, death, death. They, are, they were feeding themselves, putting inside of them death. That's what is written in my Bible. As I am guided by the Bible, I totally believe 100% in all in the whole Bible. I believe in the Bible. It's starting from the cover. This is what guides me, what leads me. If it says yes, it's yes. If, if it says no, it's no. Because the Bible is the Word of God, the inerrant Word of God. And who is guided, led, conducted by the Word of God is progressing, is advancing, is blessed. And they are growing, obviously. So this is very serious. It's very serious. People who had never guarded their mouth, they used their life depreciating themselves, depreciating others, is speaking the worst way. It's terrible, the results. You see the results in their own lives, in their physic. They fill themselves with bitterness because it's a poison. They are feeding themselves, putting inside of them poison, death, because in the tongue is the power of life and death. Who likes to use it will eat its fruit. I can't be eating a fruit I can't be eating a fruit of life or a fruit of death. It depends how I speak. If I speak the word of God, what is what the Lord said to Joshua? Is speak the word, keep the word on your mouth, meditate on it day and night. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to fulfill it. And then you will be successful and Prosperous. It means many people aren't being successful, aren't prospering because they don't keep the word on their mouths. They don't speak the word and they don't think on the word. Paul said, think about what is true, what is noble, what is right, what is pure, what is lovely, what is admirable. What is praiseworthy? What is excellent? What is praiseworthy? Think about such things. So, what am I going to think about? About the Word and the Word. And the Word which just has good things for me. For me, when you start to think about Jesus, about what Jesus said and the Word of God and the promises, whoa, when you see you're, ju you're already jumping and dancing in the presence of the Lord, praising, worshiping. 
worshiping, you start to think and meditate on it. You get emotional, you laugh. I don't know you, but for me, it's a mix. There is a time that I'm laughing, then I'm crying when I realize I've already gotten up because the word is, is alive. This is powerful. When you speak the word, your humor is different, your energy, your face, your countenance. I have never found one person, one bitter person with a beautiful countenance. Sometimes it's not because the person isn't beautiful. The person is beautiful, but they are with that countenance down have you pressed that eye that have I afflicted eye why because that's how their heart is above all else guard your heart for everything you do flows from it For everything you do flows from it. If I want life, I need to guard my heart. Guard it from death. That is bitterness, pride, selfishness. No. Speak hastily. Speak hastily. There is more hope for the foolish one than to the hasty one. Even the foolish one seems to be wise when they are silent. So many people are acting in a foolish way because they are there just to speak. And this for whole life, they want to complain, they want to be a victimist, and, and that's how they live. Nothing is good, so they complain. All the time they say, I'm not good, I'm tired, I'm with this pain. I have already listened to you. Spouse, children saying, we can't handle it anymore. We can't handle it anymore. Once I received the husband and three children, two teenagers and one who was already an adult, a, a young man, the oldest one. And they said, we came here to ask for help because my mother is, she's coming here. But we can't handle it. Every day there is a pain, nothing is good. So I'm with a pain, I'm with headache. Leave me here, I'm with headache. I'm with stomach ache. I'm feeling weak, I need to lay, lay down. I, I need to lay down, nothing. Everything we do, we do, she complains about it. Nothing is good, nothing is good. She, she curses, she shouts. She throw things. The man said, I thought if she went to the church, she would be better. I had, I have been thinking serious, seriously about the divorce because if after she came to the church, she didn't change. So I lost hope. Look what a sad thing. Look the sadness. I was, because the woman, she's coming to the church, and she's the same way, in the same way, so, it's sad, it's, it's regrettable, it's shameful, right? And obviously, I instructed that it's not like this, they couldn't get upset with God and not even with the church, right? Obviously, never with God. Because the, the word was being preached. But I said, I regret that she's not putting into Brexit. Brexit. Because she's listening to you. Because if she's here, she's listening to the right thing. But unfortunately, there are people who are hearing or rather listening to the right thing. But they, but they continue doing the wrong thing because they don't suffer a renewal of the mind. They don't seek for this metanoia. And if you believe wrong, you will live wrong. 
if instead of you believing in the word, you continue believing the same things you have always believed, you will live the same way, in the same way. So, you change of church, of religion, religion, you change your hair, change your address, but you just don't change your mind. There are people who just haven't changed their minds. There are people who just haven't changed within. They have already changed many things, but they don't change what is inside. The person is impermeable. They don't let, allow the word to enter. So they continue to think the same way that is contrary to the word, in a way that has never worked. They continue to act this in the same way, obviously, and scandalizing, shaming the gospel, and discouraged, upset, frustrated because their lives aren't progressing. And some of them... And some still boast about their religiosity, right? But they don't bear fruit. They don't bear fruit. Regrettably, John the Baptist said, bear fruit that shows repentance. I will, through my fruits, my change, show repentance, metanoia. Metanoia that happened. It means I used to think in a way during a whole life, but I don't think like this anymore. Consequently, I don't act. I don't speak anymore like this. My decisions are different. My attitudes are different. I need to bear fruit. That we all that show... This metanoia, this change of mind, this change in the way of thinking. I can't continue to live the same way, speaking the same way, and say, well, I'm with Jesus. And doesn't he influence you in anything you you don't sort, you don't illuminate, you don't impact anybody, you don't influence anybody, because nobody is seeing changes. Hmm? How many spouses came to the church I have in the church because they saw the change in their wife or in the husband. And these were already believers. And then when they came and, and allowed the, the word to enter, they changed. And it was when the spouse decided to come together, to, to come with them. No, I will, I will go with you because now, some said it, now I will go with you because now I saw change. I saw change, now I, I saw that it works. So, in Jesus' name, I have been seeing the Lord pulling us to this higher level. He's calling us to this higher level. of integrity. Integrity. God burns us whole. David said this, look, the Lord is my light. Who illuminates my life is the Lord and my salvation. And the word salvation here is, is broad. He, sa he saves from everything, from the person I, ha I have been for a whole life. Who shall I fear? So now it's over. I won't fear anything, but I will live 
before the Lord, aligned with Him, the Lord, the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? Who is the stronghold of my life? The Lord. He is the stronghold of my life. So, my stronghold, my strength is at the size of my sirs. When the Lord is the source of life, is the source of hope, of strength, of a person, this is their source, the most powerful thing that exists, which is God. Which is God. So, if the Lord is your source, that's over. Source of life, of intelligence, of wisdom. You will live in the highest level. The problem is that some people didn't have the Lord as their source. As long as the Lord is not the, sur it's not the source of life, of strength, of hope, of the life of, life of many people, they will continue to live in a low pattern because many still depend on their own strength, on their emotions. They had the emotional dependence on people. So their mood depends on how they are treated by other people. Some people continue to, be, to live based on their emotions, their feelings, based on the opinion of others. They don't have the identity of Christ, the firmness of character. They are not righteous. They are not whole, full in God. God is not their source of joy, of peace, because the kingdom of God is not food nor drink, but it's justice, but it's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Spirit. So when a person starts to walk with the Lord and makes Him their source of life, they find life in Him, so they will find joy in Him, and strength in Him. They will move themselves as He is conducting. They are guided by Him because He is the source of everything, of life of their lives. It's from there, from God, that they take their strength, their joy, the peace, their peace, the directions. It's from God. And that's why people who have God as their source, they take strength from the Lord because they are looking at Him. They are being guided by Him. They have peace, they have joy, they have energy, they have been healed. They are growing in everything, in everything. They have been growing in wisdom, in vision, in conquest, in results, in influence. They have an influence a great impact over people of their family. Get up in this Sunday, in Jesus' name, with this decision. Make this decision that you will do the Lord, the Lord, your stronghold, the stronghold of your life, the source that He will be, He will be your source of life. And you won't look right to the right or to the left. You will only look at Him and you will live aligned with Him, in agreement with Him. Agree with God. Doubt about your feelings, but don't doubt about what He's saying to you. Live as the Word of God is commanding you. Get up.
Listen to God. Listen to God. The Holy Spirit is saying, is speaking. Who has ears? Listen to it today. Surrender yourself to God. The Holy Spirit is speaking to you. Let it enter. He's illuminating. He's saying, "Hey, make me your source. Depend on me. Live as I am guiding you." You speak the word, meditate on the word, give an answer of, of faith and not an and not an emotional answer. Don't answer as you're feeling because there are people that their answers are always based on their emotions and feelings. Answer with faith. The righteous shall live by faith. And you will have peace, you'll have joy, you will have peace progress you will you will succeed in the tests and you will progress god has progress progress for you read the book of joshua it's a book of conquest that's what god has for us for this whole year it's an incredible promise go there to meditate meditate on joshua 1 from verse 1 to 9. Answer with faith and you will have the best year of your life so far. If you believe, desire, and want to pray with me, prepare something you want to receive prayer for. I'll be right back to pray with you. Senhor, meu Deus. Lord, my God and my Father, I pray for the dear light that is with me. And I ask, Lord, may this word have illuminated their understanding. And light, Lord, means an increase in consciousness. Lord, may they have consciousness about the truth. May they have consciousness about what you're speaking to them. And may they align themselves with you. May they submit. Give strength to them. Give discernment, understanding. Give revelation of what happens with them. May they see. May they be able to see what needs to be changed, healed. And may they pray for it, Lord, and I ask, may you help them to overcome traumas, may wounds be healed, may they be freed from bitterness, aggressiveness, revolt, offense, may they forgive, may they be free in, a, in such a way, Lord, that they will never speak a bad, a negative word, may they think Think in your word, speak your word, and may they leave the results of the word that is life, that is light for our paths, that is powerful and effective. Your word is, is a living word. Bless home families, all who sent their prayer requests. I consecrate everything and I take possession of salvation deliverance, understanding, growth of maturity. May this word have entered and give clarity to this person and may it have given them strength to break through and align themselves with you. Bless my friends and fellow sowers, I prophesy the gift of wealth, Raise more sowers because we need them. And wherever this program is reaching, may lives have been filled with this word, by this presence, by this anointing. And may they have been transformed forever. May today this understanding have filled their hearts forever. Heal wounded hearts and transform forever each person that is with me for the glory of your name. I ask for your blessing. I give my blessing. And I thank you so much for everything. Amen. 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 Thank God. The Life Helpline phone number is 5511 32 
We are located at 995 Taquari Street in Sao Paulo, Brazil. It's where we are. And today I'll be at 9 in the first fruit service for the beloved family of God in all our temples. Get up and come. Bring your family. Bring a, a guest. And count on us because it is a pleasure to serve. And if the Lord Jesus doesn't come back, I will continue here talking about life and life change. Have a nice day. Amen.